Hello everyone, welcome back to the Seven Cups YouTube channel. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at two teas from our sorcerer in Yunnan, Ran Yijin. Um, and both of these teas are gonna be shu or cooked pu'er, which means it's been kind of piled up and fermented in these big piles. One of these is made with large leaves and has been aged for 21 years, and then the other one is made with small tender leaves and buds and is from a purple bush variety. So let's jump in and start making these teas. These teas come to us by way of our tea sorcerer in Yunnan, Lao Ran. Lao Ran was born in what used to be known as Pu'er City and has been around tea his whole life. So he knows where to go to get high quality Pu'er tea. And that allows us to have a certain level of transparency that other companies might not be able to have. Many companies end up buying pu'er tea from wholesale markets because the whole world of pu'er tea is very complex. There's thousands of micro origins and micro producers and it's, it's a very difficult field to wade into. So having somebody who's familiar with this field and who has relationships with the people in Yunnan is really useful and it gives us a level of transparency that we're really proud of. On top of that, Lauran is a poet, actually. Him and his wife are both poets and Ju Ping, who corresponds with Lauran, says it's a joy to talk with him because even in his text messages, he has a very poetic way of speaking. One story that she shared with me is that um, early on, they were looking for a specific pu'er that was kind of expensive. She was asking Lauran if he might be able to get a deal, and he responded by saying, let's let the spring winds blow there for a while before we go. And what that meant was he wanted to wait until the busy buying season was over. So he could go in after that and buy the remaining stock at a much lower price. So not only does he know where to go to get these high quality teas, he also knows when to go to get good prices. He's one of the reasons why we're able to provide these high quality pu'er teas at lower prices. So the first tea that we're brewing today is the Purple Leaf Palace Pu'er. It's uncommon to find pu'er, shu pu'er teas with leaf material like this that's so young and tender, one bud, one leaf. And that's because uh, making shu pu'er is a process of fermentation. And if that goes wrong, you have to throw the whole batch out. And younger leaf material is more expensive. On top of that, this is made with the original forest variety, Zijuan, which is known for having a really reddish purple color with the first young leaves that grow. These purple varieties have higher levels of anthocyanin and zinc, which can sometimes translate to a more bitter tea, but in this case, it's very smooth and has very little of that earthy flavor that you normally get with shu pu'er. And the second tea we're brewing today is our jujube date brick, made with large leaves that have been aged for over 20 years now. And it's been carefully monitored while it's been aged uh, for temperature and humidity. So this is an excellent example of some expertly aged tea. And it possesses that fruity, dried jujube date flavor that's associated with true, high quality aged shu pu'er. This tea in particular, I'm always surprised by how light on the tongue it is. It's not heavy at all. I, at home, I like to put eight grams of it in a cup and just put boiling water over it, let it steep for 15, 20 minutes, and it'll still be really light and refreshing, not heavy at all. All right, let's give them a taste. I'll go ahead and start with the palace pour. So this one's not very earthy at all. Um, it's got much more of that mineral flavor. It's got that uh, slippery feeling that's associated with high-end pu'er. Um, and it's really complex, lingering sweetness in the back of the mouth. All 
right, next I'll move on to the Jujube brick. And this one's just the opposite. Uh, it's got a really rich uh, forest floor almost kind of flavor to it or a rain on stone. Um, it really reminds me of the smell after rain. And that's why I enjoy it so much. But yeah, it has that flavor that you can't get from anything else other than true aged pore tea. That really uh, delicate fruity sweetness that's really really refreshing all right well I hope that gave you an idea of what these teas taste like if you'd like to learn more we have more information on our website about uh, Shupur making where we get our different teas um, and things like that if you have a favorite Shupur or any Shupur stories uh, feel free to share them down in the comment section below and we'll see you next time all right take care